Hey guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane, and today I'm going to show you guys how to get on the new leaked 5.5.905. This is the latest gingerbread build. Uh, it is not ice cream sandwich. We're still on gingerbread, but this does include uh, the latest CDMA radio, so this should increase your speed, your connectivity uh, to the 4G networks, and so forth and so on. Should give you better data reception, call reception, and the full nine. So the first thing you want to do is be sure to FXZ or uh, fast boot your way back to stock 5.5.902. Uh, so you want to go to settings. And about phone, be sure that your system version is uh, .902. Now, of course, the way that you FXZ is you would open up, well, you would power down your phone. Uh, once your phone's powered down, you would hold down both volume keys and the power button until the fast boot screen comes up. Then you would select AP fast boot just by scrolling. Uh, with the volume rocker down to AP fast boot, and then you would click up. That's going to put you in fast boot mode. When in fast boot mode, um, you would just you would open up RSD light. Now I'll, I'll link you guys to the in the description to a full guide of how to FAZ back to 902. Uh, but anyhow, you would open up RSD light. And you'd plug in your phone, and of course with your phone plugged in, like so, you would select your device right there. So you would just click it here, go up the information here, then you click on these three, you'd select your 902 FAZ file, and click open, and then you would click start to start the process. After about 15 minutes, you'll be back to stock 5.9.902. Now, like I said, I'll go ahead and link in the description to the full uh, how-to video on how to FAZ, just so you guys are sure that you know how to do it. So you want to do that first. Make sure that you're on 5.9.902. Once you're on 5.9.902, you can head to the link in the description and download the 5.9.905 file. Now it'll be, if you download it directly to your phone, it's going to be in your SD card under download. So you go into your file manager and SD card and let's see, or internal phone storage and you would find your download folder. Okay, so apparently whenever you FXZ, it clears out your internal memory. So be sure to take that file that you've downloaded, the 5.9.905, and get that over to your external SD card. Uh, you would, of course, just hold and click move, and then you would move it to your SD card and select move. I'm going to cancel, and you should end up with this file here. Uh, if we go to info, you'll see that it's a copy of blur version 5.9.902 is the name on there, but it's actually the 905 update. Uh, make sure that is on your external SD card. If you wanted to FXZ first and then download the file onto your X. Uh, internal SD card then move it over your uh, external SD card just so you don't accidentally erase it and then as soon as that's finished you're gonna boot into stock recovery of course you'll just power down the phone once that's powered off you're gonna boot into stock recovery just hold down both volume buttons and the power till the fast boot menu comes up and let's see here Okay, and then you're going to go down to uh, recovery, select up. Now that's going to boot you into recovery. And if you just FXZ'd and fast booted back to 5.9.902, you really shouldn't have to wipe data or anything. So you're going to press both volume keys to bring up the menu. And you'll go to apply update and hit power. And then find that blur version 5.9.902. It's named 902. I know that seems tricky, but that's actually the 905. You'll select that. And it should just go ahead and install. And so this is going to take several minutes. So we'll come back as soon as this finishes. This probably takes about 15 or 20 minutes. Uh, so we'll go ahead and pause it here. Okay, so after about 15 minutes, it finished up, and it will say install from SD card complete. Uh, when it is all completed, you'll just select reboot system now. Now, this is rootable via Moto Fail. And, of course, you could just stop now and go find my Moto Fail guide. Um, or you can continue watching. I'll show you guys how to root via Moto Fail. So we'll just kind of wait for this to boot up. It may take several minutes. 
because we just we did just flash an update so generally takes a little bit and I'll go show you guys under about phone where we're now on 905 the latest version of gingerbread for Motorola not ice cream sandwich but at least they are still working on the update for the bionic I feel like the bionics probably just the redheaded stepchild of Motorola and it may be a while before we see an official ice cream sandwich release on the bionic of course they're gearing up to release Atrix and Razer and um, ice cream sandwich on other Motorola devices but the Bionic seems to be last in line but at least they are working on that update so hopefully 905 here is just a prerequisite to getting ice cream sandwich on the Bionic okay so we're all booted up here and we're gonna go to about phone as soon as it all boots up show you guys that we're now on 5.9.905 find settings and about phone and you see there in the system version it's now on 5.9.905 so you've made it to 5.9.905 now to root uh, so what you want to do is go ahead and plug the phone into the computer actually you know what let's go back into settings and make sure USB debugging is turned on Motofail won't do anything unless that's turned on so we'll go to applications uh, go ahead and check unknown sources so it can install the super user APK development USB debugging go ahead and check that Then we'll go ahead and plug this in And Go to USB connection make that charge only mode Select OK, and then we'll just kind of set it to the side for now and head over to the computer. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is open up the Moto Fail and click Run. So it says, uh, before continuing, ensure USB debugging is enabled, that you have the latest Motorola driver installed, and that your phone is connected via USB. Press Enter to root your phone. And so now it's uh, beginning the process. And it's now rebooting the device. It does reboot the device a couple of times. Okay, the phone has rebooted. And it's going to continue to root the phone. And it's rebooting again. Of course, uh, 5.9.905 is a cheesecake update. But you can FXZ back to 902 to get yourself back on the update path so when the official ice cream sandwich comes out you will be able to flash that as well okay, so let's press any key to continue and that finished the process so we'll go back to our phone and we should be rooted now so go ahead and unplug that and let's see we should have our super user apk and there it is Okay, so we, we have root and we're on 5.9.905 guys, so that's how you get to 5.9.905 via the leaked file and uh, you can root that via moto fail and just remember that even though this is a cheesecake update, you can still FXZ your way back to 902 to put yourself on the upgrade path so that way you can install ice cream sandwich when it is made official by Verizon. Anyways, guys, you can check me out at droidmoderx.com for the latest news, uh, Android tech, all things Google related. Also, be sure to follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Uh, if you like this video, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Just click on the subscribe button there. Uh, that way you can keep up to date on all of my videos. Also, uh, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Whenever you click the like button, that helps me out. Uh, more than you know. Guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.